Hi DLRs, Joe here from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to troubleshoot hardwire smokes on your Qualsys IQ2 system. Now today we have a two-wire hardwired smoke connected to a 16F hardwired uh, translating module that's programmed into the Qualsys system. This is really probably going to be the way that your two-wire smokes are going to be connected to your IQ2 if you are using them. There's a couple different ways that you can uh, run into trouble when using this particular setup. The main ones are that the wiring may be incorrect from the, uh, from the smoke to the 16F, and it could also be programmed into the system as a normally closed zone instead of the normally open zone. The wiring is easy to fix. As you can see, our two-wire smoked is connected to zone number 16, and we do have a resistor installed in parallel. So that's one thing to check. You're going to want to make sure that your smokes are connected to zone 16, as that's the only zone on the 16F that can use two-wire smokes. And they also have to be connected with a resistor in parallel on that terminal uh, pair. Also, with these smokes, you have to connect these to the device before you program the device into the system. If you didn't do that, we have to reset the memory in the module and then walk through the re-enrollment process to our panel to get it to work again. So let's do that. Let's say that we did install it, but we connected the smoke after we programmed it into the system, and then we didn't program it correctly, so nothing's going to work. So we're going to first, I'm going to go into my zone setting on my Qualsys panel. So advanced settings, 2222, installation, devices, security sensors, delete sensor. And I'm going to delete the hardwire translator and my smoke. So now we're back as if we have nothing in the system. So on my hardwire translator, I'm going to unplug it. And then what you have to do is you have to hold down the memory reset button and keep it held down for three seconds while you reapply power. You're going to see these three little LEDs down here flash a whole bunch when you've done this. So that flashing tells us that we've just reset the memory on our 16F and we're ready to re-enroll everything to the system. Now, as you can see, we already do have our two-wire smoke connected to zone 16. That you're going to want to do before you do the memory reset. So now that we're set on here, let's go back into zone programming. So I slide down from the top, settings, advanced settings, 2222, two, two, two. installation, devices, security sensors, auto learn sensor. So now that we have our auto learn sensor set up, we're going to press and hold the EOL learn. And now our EOL Cal light is on, which tells us we're ready to learn this into the system. So I'm going to loosen up one leg of the tamper. And that loosened that connection, so it lost it for a second. And as you can see, the serial number on the Qualsys is the same that's on our module, 4B44A0. So that's great. I'm just going to re-tighten up the tamper terminal. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Sensor Type. I'm going to go down, Hardwire Translator, click Add New. So now our translator is in the system. So now we can learn in our smoke detector. So all that you have to do to do that is hit the test button on the smoke. And just to shut this up, I'm going to remove it from its base and click it back in. Click OK. Sensor type, this is important. On your sensor type, make sure you go down and click on smoke detector because as you see, it learns in as a door and window sensor and if you just click add new, it won't work properly. Door and window sensors are normally closed, smoke detectors are normally open. So I go to sensor type, I go down to smoke detector, if I can find it, and then I'm going to click add new. So now we have our translator in and our smoke in. So I'm going to click and hold EOL Learn until the light turns off. Click Home to go back to the main menu. 
And now we can test our smoke to make sure that it does work. You can use the test button on the smoke to, to test it to make sure it works, but it's not a true test of the smoke detector as it's not actually testing it with smoke. One, the, the rather the recommended way to test a smoke detector is to go out to the store or go online and purchase a can of canned smoke. This is smoke in a can and you can blow this right in your smoke detector and it will simulate a real fire. So let's try to set it off. So I take my smoke detector and I blow canned smoke in it. We got the alarm. And as you can see, the power reset did occur, which turned the smoke detector off, which shows that we did reprogram it successfully to the system, and it's all working great. So just to reiterate, if you do have a 16F with a smoke detector, a two-hour smoke, they are having trouble set up or setting up, do a memory reset on your 16F first, actually. Check that your wiring is all set. Make sure your resistors are all set. Make sure that your smokes are wired up. And make sure that there's a resistor wired up in parallel. Next, do your memory reset on the 16F and then re-add it to your system and then check to see that everything's working. If you do have any questions about setting this up, about the Qualsys system or two-wired smokes with the 16F, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or head to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below. We'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.